Hi folks, welcome to the webinar. I'm Nick Esposito, TRG's Business Development Manager, and I'll be your host today. This webinar is being presented by Trade Risk Guarantee, or as many of you know us as, TRG. We're located in the heart of downtown Bozeman, Montana. If you're in town and you want to say hi, come find us on the second floor of the historic Rocking R Bar building. TRG operates on a direct-to-importer business model that is unique to the international trade community. As an important disclaimer, the information presented in this webinar is for information purposes only and is not intended and does not constitute legal advice. As with all our webinars, we'll be recording this webinar. It'll be available on YouTube for future reference. To be notified the moment it releases and to keep a pulse on TRG's educational videos, I highly recommend you subscribe to our YouTube channel there should be a link in the chat box shortly. During the course of the webinar today, we'll cover five major categories. Holiday shopping statistics, consumer interests and trends, how these elements affect the global trade market, package and cargo theft over the holiday season, and ultimately, how you can protect your business against cargo theft. As you may be aware, Holiday shipping is a major strain on carriers, retailers, warehouses, and delivery services. The global trade market is reliant on holiday shipping to meet their bottom lines. But while consumers barely blink at free two-day shipping and lightning fast deals, the people behind the scenes are struggling to meet their expectations. This year, the three largest delivery services in the United States, that would be the USPS, UPS, and FedEx, will deliver between 17 to 18 billion packages and mail pieces between Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve. And if you're doing the math, that means each person will receive about 53 items in less than six weeks. Unsurprisingly, online retailers and Cyber Week deals will spur most of this influx of deliveries. 60% of all holiday shipping in 2019 will occur online, and last year's Cyber Week brought in a record-setting total of $7.9 in sales. This is expected to grow even higher this year as more retailers participate. Next, let's discuss some of the trends that consumers consider before making a purchase. One recent survey found three major determining factors when making an online purchase for holiday gifts. Price, shipping speed, and ease of purchase. Nearly 81% of American adults now own a smartphone, which means that the ability to compare pricing, shipping methods, and ease of purchase between multiple vendors within moments from any location has never been easier. This year, the average holiday shipper plans to spend about $525, with $1,536 per household estimated. Additionally, the average shopper will purchase approximately 16 gifts, making price a crucial element in holiday buying. From a business perspective, the holiday season is expected to contribute to one-fourth of all annual retail sales in the United States, and it's anticipated that around 57% of all sales will occur online. Well, what about shipping? Shipping is a major element of how holiday shoppers make their buying decisions, with 61% of shoppers saying they'll be more likely to buy items that qualify for free shipping. Shoppers were polled to find that 44% preferred their package within two business days, with only 25% stating three to four days is acceptable. Even though consumers prefer delivery within two business days, 88% say they'd be willing to wait for five to seven days for delivery if the shipping is free. This puts a significant strain on the shipping industry throughout the year, but the volume of shipments during the holiday season is always increasing. To wrap up the first part of this webinar, let's talk about ease of purchase. 64% of shoppers say they make purchasing decisions based on a faster checkout process. 56% say they're more likely to buy from a retailer that has a well-organized, easy-to-navigate website or mobile app. Surprisingly, only 8% of online shoppers say a seamless checkout system like Apple Pay, PayPal, or Visa Checkout makes a difference on their shopping decisions. Now, along with the increased shipping during the season comes a significant increase in theft. 
theft of everything from individual packages to full con container cargoes, sorry, cargo containers continues to be a persistent global problem. Let's dig into some of the statistics regarding package and cargo theft. Package theft can be a rather ambiguous term, but for the purpose of this webinar, we are generally referring to the theft of a singular parcel. The most common example of this is the theft of a package from a home's front steps or porch. In fact, one in four Americans have experienced package theft from their homes, with North Dakotans reporting the highest rate of package theft in the country, with an astounding 26 times the national average. Thanks to this, the market for doorbell surveillance product, products like Ring and Nest has exploded. 70% of Americans say they feel more secure about leaving a package on their doorstep until they re return home with these devices, but only one third of those surveyed say they actually have one installed. Outside of small parcel theft, there's a larger prize for more sophisticated thieves, cargo theft. According to SensiGuard, the United States experiences about two major cargo thefts per day during the holiday season. The average loss of these thefts is about $182,000. Items like food, alcoholic beverages, electronics, apparel, and pharmaceuticals are among the most popular targets. Depending on the region of the U.S., some commodities may also be of higher risk. For example, nuts, think pistachios, walnuts, almonds, pecans, and cashews are frequently the culprit of theft in California. In 2016 alone, nut cargo was estimated at over 10 million in losses. Even with modern devices like GPS monitors and pallet trackers, sophisticated thieves can sniff out these devices and disable them. So how do you protect your cargo during this peak shipping season? First, keep your cargo moving. Most cases involve cargo theft occur at unsecured parking lots or warehouses during transit. In the U.S., the most common reason for cargo theft was due to unattended cargo in unsecured areas. Second, upgrade your barrier seals and padlocks on trailers. Thieves look for cheap or unsecured trailers as easy targets. Next, perform an audit on your logistics and security pr protocols to ensure the system hasn't been breached. Keeping these systems up to date and to industry best practices throughout the transit process is essential. Additionally, employing covert GPS tracking and active cargo monitoring solutions will help mitigate your risk of theft. And if you're not doing so already, having drivers and security personnel record and keep the license plates, VIN numbers, descriptions for tractors, trailers, containers, and container chassis to provide to police in the event a theft occurs. In the event your cargo is lost or stolen in transit, having marine cargo insurance will help mitigate your risk and recover the loss. By, protect by protecting your overall investment in your imported goods, you'll be able to get coverage that not only protects you against cargo theft, but additional perils of shipping like general average or carrier's limit of liability. Don't forget, though, that the terms of your cargo insurance dictate what will be covered and it is very important to note that not all insurance coverage is created equal. Meaning, if you have an existing policy, make sure you know what is covered under that policy by contacting your provider. If you don't have cargo insurance, ask yourself this. What would happen if you lost your largest shipment? Could your business sustain a loss of that caliber? For most folks, the answer is no. But don't worry, even though getting cargo insurance sounds daunting, it really isn't. The hardest part is taking the first step in reaching out to a provider like TRG and discussing with an expert what kind of coverage makes the most sense for your business. If you have any questions about insuring your, your imported goods against cargo theft or loss, feel free to send them in and we'll forward them over to one of our experienced marine cargo experts. If you'd like to learn more about what cargo insurance can do for your business, don't forget to check out our marine cargo insurance webinar. As discussed in the last slide, TRG is a cargo insurance provider. So I'd like to take a moment to talk, to talk about both TRG and the coverage we offer. Trade Risk Guarantee is an international trade insurance agency. We work directly with importers and exporters, and we've been doing this for about 28 years. We've got over 13,000 clients that we work with every day specifically discussing these complex topics and helping them navigate through the world of international trade. 
in that capacity or an additional resource alongside their customs broker and or freight forwarder. Our business model does help save time and money, and our annual all-risk cargo insurance policies start at $750. Whether you're currently insuring shipment by shipment or have an existing annual policy, we would love to get you an apples-to-apples quote. So please reach out to us via phone, email, or website. And that's it, folks. If you have any additional questions for us, please reach out to us contact info on the screen, or you can reach out to me directly at nick.esposito at traderiskguarantee.com. That's N-I-C-K period E-S-P-O-S-I-T-O at T-R-G-T-R-A-D-E-R-I-S-K-G-U-A-R-A-N-T-Y.com. Don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and most importantly on YouTube. If you'd like to be notified when the recording of this webinar or any of our other other educational videos releases, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. There should be a link in the chat box. Thanks again for attending the webinar.